All right, welcome to Diamond Dialogue, the Chat Realm interview show where you get to find out more about your fellow Chat Realmers. Uh, joining me on this episode is Lynx57. Hello. Wow. Howdy. <laughs> so, uh, I alluded to it a little bit before, but who the hell are you and how did you get here? Uh, well, um, I suppose like anyone else, I am me. Uh, and uh, it's a, a guy with a guilty pleasure for watching horse apple shenanigans so here here i am excellent well you're in the right place for sure <laughs> so um you know your name is obviously not lynx 57 um as, no not as often people tend to use their names on chat but uh what where did your what, what are the origins of your chat handle uh once upon a time uh i was a young child well on a young internet i Law dialed into the internet, opened up Netscape Navigator, and uh, signed up for an email address. At link C57 was what I decided to go with. Um, I don't know why. Um, when I was young, I had a, a golden NES cartridge, Legend of Zelda, but oh. I was young and I was terrible at it. And some playthroughs, I didn't even make it to the first dungeon, which is where the guy gives you the sword and the place you spawn. So uh, right. I guess I just went with that because that's all I knew. So is it Lynx or Link Z, as in like Link Zelda? Uh, Link Z is how oh. I pronounce it. But okay. um, if you want the '90s cool kids Z plural, then that's cool too. Yeah, that's well. See, that's kind of what I immediately assumed. It's the internet. And sure. All. But <laughs> right. No, that's that's interesting. At least you have you have some you know interesting backstory for your for your name at least. <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Right. <laughs> So you're stranded on a desert island. You only get three movies mm. for the rest of time. What 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 movies yeah. do you choose? Uh, well, the rest of time now being a short one, I guess I'd be interested in survival. So a small collection of uh, island survival DVDs would be nice. But um, I don't think I enjoy any movies enough to watch them the rest of the rest of my life over and over. So. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah, I mean, I enjoy Spot Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, uh, The Passion of the Christ, and that new Star Wars movie called Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Big fan of that. So, um, if I had to watch any movie over and over, it'd probably be one of those, or maybe something like 12 Monkeys, because I just haven't seen it yet, and I've heard good things. Oh, really? Yeah, 12 uh, And if I'm going to be on Desert Island, I'm probably going to have a lot of time to catch up on old classics. Right. No, yeah, 12 Monkeys is a really good flick. You should watch that. And uh, uh, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy was great too. And like you say, it's very, very Star Wars esque and I, it, I enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, the only difference is Han Solo and Luke Skywalker are the same character. But yeah, it, it's yeah. super cuddly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it, it's, yeah, good times. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so you're given a superpower, right? Mm -hmm. Right. What is it, or, or, or what superpower do you develop, and mm -hmm. what's the first thing you do with it? Uh, well, besides cancer from the uh, radiation right, uh, right. exposure, uh, I guess I'm going to go with flying. Uh, a commonly desired superpower, but, uh, you know, that's mine and that's what I want. Um, not to mention, what it'll cut down on commute time, uh, be a good way to let off steam, and it'd probably be great exercise. I don't know how I would fly, but it would probably use some kind of energy, and I have a lot of fat, so that's a good energy source, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's. Uh, I wonder. I wonder if it does take effort to fly. Like you know, like running takes you know you right. have to run and use your muscles. Well, I guess it depends on how you go about it. Like uh, Angel from X Men, uh, probably the lamest of the original X Men. Uh, he just had the wings, so right. So he would same. actually have to you know have muscles to flap to muscle, work. Uh, muscles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Superman is like more like levitation than than flight. Right. Yeah. And also the ability to turn back time if he flies fast enough, because that's how physics works. Yeah, def that's... So, mm. he had a lot going for him. <laughs> uh, they, didn't, they didn't really care about physics when they made those movies. <laughs> yeah, it was the golden age, no questions. Right. Uh, so, uh, speaking of golden age, we're in a golden age of games, uh, at least we have been for about 20 years right, now. Right, yeah. Uh, what, what, what game are you currently playing, or, or do you, you know, board game or whatever? Uh, currently playing, I guess I'm between games. Um, about a few hours ago, I was playing uh, Tropico 4, which is SimCity mm -hmm. Banana Republic. Uh, so that was fun because it's very easy, and I'm not good at SimCity. Oh, yeah. I play, I like to play SimCity. Um, yeah. I, uh, I have a lot of people that I follow on uh, YouTube also play Tropico, and I haven't gotten into it, but I've heard good mm -hmm. things. 
it's it's a lot easier if you go from sim city tropical you probably be bored uh mm -hmm. you don't even need electricity you can just have not have air conditioning for all your guys um no one really pressures you to make more food available you get a lot of foreign aid if you screw up it's uh baby's first sim city with a uh little dark humorous twist oh interesting a little uh um... not very dark humor no but it's Run, like uh, yeah, running the Banana Republic, you uh, you take a lot of the public funds and put it into your slush fund, and then run off with a, I don't know. A yeah, lot that's of money. awesome. That does sound mm -hmm. like kind of a fun game. I've heard good things about Landmark too. Um, that especially Never. in its current stage, it's basically an everything sim. Like you build everything. Oh. So yeah, it's it's very interesting. I just haven't I haven't gotten into it, and it's it's still beta, I guess. So. That's Landmark cool. said. Yeah. Um, Tom Gerke plays so. it, so... Oh. Wasn't that how Spore was kind of advertised? Uh, you go from, uh, creature to space and civilization, and really it was a whole lot of nothing. Yeah, yeah, I was less than impressed with Spore. I was expecting yeah. something more black and white-like. Did you ever play black oh, and white? Oh, black and white's great, yeah. yeah. Well, I played black and white too, I haven't played the original. Oh, okay, yeah. And and that's what I was expecting. Something more like that where you got to kinda of build but but the whole world, you know, as you and you start from right. you know, small so And yeah, a giant pet monkey. It would have been much better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's could have been better. Could have been better. Mm -hmm. But yeah. uh so it, speaking of planets, I I'm doing damn good with the segues today. <laughs> this is awesome. Right. You're on a roll here. If you could uh, move to any planet, real or fictional, game whatever, <sighs> what is it and, and describe what your house is there? Oh, man. I don't even know. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to move to Mars uh, when that gets colonized. Well, after it gets colonized. Uh, a long time after that. Uh, yeah, once yeah. they have a good internet connection and uh, cheap, low quality of food, then maybe I'd be interested. Um, the yeah, Citadel from the uh, Mass Effect seems kind of nice. Oh, yeah. Not really planet so much as a, a ship. Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> but that'd be nice to live there. Uh, it seems decent. But probably a lot of racism. Probably, probably. Um, so what? 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 You got to pick one though. You can't. You can't have both. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna go with Earth because uh, we're number one. <laughs> All right. So you want to stay on Earth in in, in our yeah. time or? It's served me well so far. Yeah. Um, I mean, the future seems pretty great. But if I skip too far ahead, then I'd just be like Grandpa, lost, confused, and angry. Well, you could end up so like right fried. here, right now. You know, you could end up like there Fry from Futurama fitting in better. Bumbling and occasionally unemployed. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, so what would your true. house look like then? Ah. Uh, um, I don't know. Modestly furnished. Uh, uh, networked. Networked. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, a lot of monitors. That's good answer. Mm -hmm. No, that's excellent. So you've been nice. I would definitely. Go ahead. Hmm? Go ahead. Uh, well, I would definitely like to. Uh, one of my pet projects that I've never put any time into furthering would be to get uh, some kind of uh, server going with uh, speech recognition so I could have speakers and microphones in every room and, you know, Google now kind of thing, what time is it, play me a song, uh, and then have little uh, Bluetooth dongles that follow my uh, phone in my pocket around the house so it could uh, switch speaker outputs uh, as I walk hither and yon. Oh, sure. Um, which is ridiculous because I never uh, go past go far away from the computer anyway so it's probably a waste of time <laughs> so yeah it's a bit like uh what bill gates has that i think in his house where you wear a pin with uh, oh, so like an rfid chip on it or something yeah you can put well the pin rfid on is it. kind of yeah. low range uh bluetooth is theoretically 300 feet but um even the uh 100 maybe it's the 30 feet 30 feet kind of long. either way um bluetooth would be nice uh bluetooth le or something longer oh, right. range than rfid and we're always carrying phones in our pockets anyways so uh, it wouldn't need to be something small, uh, like a you know pin to your shirt or something. Yeah, it'd be something that you already have, and you wouldn't even have to give them out. You could just say, you know, go to this server and identify this person as sure, know, yeah. this phone or this this Bluetooth signal is Bob. And mm -hmm. Bob likes reggae, so when he comes in the room, you play reggae. You right, know? play some reggae. Yeah. yeah. No, that's a good idea. I've, I've always wanted. You know, I think we've all wanted that kind of home automation thing too. Like sure less thinking, <laughs> you know, just mm -hmm. come home, sit down, yeah. TV comes on with your favorite I show. A, a Ninja Block uh, a while ago oh. and been having trouble with it. So it was my foray into home automation and that uh, hasn't got me too far. 
Yeah, it takes practice, I'm sure. I, I've been playing right. with Raspberry Pi for a while, so. Oh, yeah, they're really super great. Oh yeah, they're real fun. So you have a you have a handy beard there. What? Uh, how long have you been working on that beard? Uh, maybe a year, less than a year, somewhere around there. Not very well. I guess kind of long. Um, more than five months. <laughs> more than five months. Yeah, I can yeah. never. Excuse me. I can never get a full beard going. It, it annoys me once I get about a week, two weeks in. I'm like, eh, get off my Yeah, face. it's all scratchy. You really yeah. have to uh, through that phase. Yeah. It's, it's hard. hard. <laughs> well, you but, mentioned... That... Uh, if you're lazy enough, you can power on through. Oh, like yeah. I did. Well, you mentioned that you're uh, doing some programming stuff in the in the pre-show. What, what programming projects are you currently working on? Um... Boring corporate stuff. Uh, update Adobe Reader on a thousand computers uh, and check for the latest version. I uh, use Auto Hotkey not because it's the best program language, but just it was easy to pick up and you write what you know. And uh, it was easy to learn, so that's what I know and that's what I write. Oh yeah, well Auto it has a, or Auto Hotkey. It's a yeah. similar thing. Um, it, the language is very simple and it's very. Uh, it's not. It is not very unlike other languages. It's, it is its own thing, right. but it's it's similar to other languages, definitely. So so you can kind yeah. of migrate and pick things up from there. Uh, yeah, for loop in one language is the for loop in all languages. Exactly. It's and I I know that from I've been programming for a long time and mm. gone through everything from Pascal to C plus plus to C sharp to <laughs> JavaScript and yeah, it's everything's the same. Oh, and <laughs> and I'm just a little a new uh, scripter. Your C. Wow. No, we all start somewhere. I took it in high school, man. <laughs> oh. So, uh, I mean, anymore, I, I end up doing more Ruby on Rails stuff and a lot of web stuff. So most of my stuff is okay. boring. I end up doing HTML. I'm just like, woo. Like floss <laughs> stuff? Uh, mm -hmm. You like the floss languages? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I, tend, I tend to shy away from things like C Sharp and stuff, although I do use that at work. So mm -hmm. it's, do what I have to do. <laughs> right. So you watch. Uh, at the end watch... of the day, it's a tool to get a job done. Oh, definitely, exactly. So you watch a lot of Night Attack. I see you were you were made, made some jury jokes yeah. there. What's your What's your favorite jury character or impression? I guess, I uh, guess Pierce isn't his character. Right. Yeah, I do. I'm a fan of the. Um, uh, not Pierce. What's the guy's name? Oh, uh, Alex Jones. Sorry. Infowars.com. Yeah. Alex Jones. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Alex Jones as a character, independent from Jury, is funny, uh, and Jury yeah. just kind of. Um, well, not really a parody. He's just kind of doing the exact same thing, but rolling his eyes afterwards. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A postmodern parody, I guess you'd call it. Um, but yeah, it's probably the most fun uh, with that one. And uh, a few, was it like last episode, two episodes ago, uh, they wanted a, a rap battle for Dragon Con. So oh, I wrote right. something, and then uh, Brian called me out for racism for a spelling error. Instead of blank, I wrote black, and then... He, then I got yelled at. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Alex Jones and Pierce Morgan. That's a, a fun, that was probably one of my favorite uh, NSFW episodes. Oh yeah, they're, they're hilarious, and he, he gets into it. But it, it's hyperbolic on top of hyperbolic because that's that's just <laughs> how Alex Jones is. He's, he's yeah. this crazy guy over the takes... top all the time. Exactly, yeah. and then you add jury. He probably on top has heart problems. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, uh, tell us where we can find out more about you. You know, I got your Twitter on there, but uh, where, where else are you? Yeah. Um, really, nowhere. Uh, I'm a lurker on uh, Reddit. Uh, links you can just on there as well. Um, I post to GitHub whenever I get uh, an uninterrupted hour, which is rarer and rarer. Uh, and Twitter occasionally. I don't often tweet. Yeah. <laughs> so nowhere is your answer. You can't find me anywhere. Come to my house, knock on the door, and I'll uh, pretend I'm not home. Okay, we'll do that. Where do you live again? Uh, just down the street. <laughs> just down the street. Okay, I'll be right there. <laughs> there you go. Well, thanks for thanks for joining me, uh, Link Link Z fifty seven. I'm gonna call you Lynx. <laughs> it's cool. It's great. It's great having you on. And uh, everyone else, you can mm -hmm. check out more uh, answers to my dumb questions from other people at tinvec.com slash dd double d. There are links Ooh. there for subscribing to YouTube and or to iTunes and RSS and, and all that good stuff. So. One more time, thank you very much, Tyler, and and or Link Z, if that is your real name. <laughs> right. 
And we'll see you all next time on the next Diamond Dialogue. Die in a fire. Die in a fire. <laughs> see you next time Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. Yeah.